What's up guys? Welcome back to Soul Status for another video. Today we're shooting a podcast. I got Mike here, myself, Moose, Chris, and a special guest. Today we got Trey Miguel on the show. I'm so fixated at the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> We got some special things oh in store God. for you today. We're going to be talking about a couple things. We're going to talk about some drops. We're going to talk about some little yeah. sneaker world and wrestling world mashups. Sneakers and wrestling. But uh, make sure to like, <laughs> subscribe, share this video with your friends, and let's get right into the video. Let's first go. things first. Hey. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Welcome good back. gang. So What's we up? did take a little, you know, hiatus. Yeah, it's a little break. Obviously, we got a little busy. Yeah. But yeah, we're back. Excited. Feels good to be back. It's been a while. Got that energy back. I know. Love being here. You look lively, Mike. Thank you. It's the uh, shampoo. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, listen to this guy. I mean, you got stuff going on. You got to wrestle in front of a crowd again. How was Bro, that? Yeah. man, that was awesome. I wrestled in Chicago on Friday night for AAW, That's and I think they had like 100 people in there, which is... Not for sure. for <laughs> the current climate, that's awesome. Um, normally, they used to pack that. Is that a Marinay Park? Which okay. normally draws like the five and six hundreds when they would run there, but I mean that's just not possible right now. But yeah. being back in front of a crowd was awesome. That was really really cool. Hear somebody cheer your name. Yeah, like, man. Yeah. Just having people react to you at all. It's so hard to do it in the quiet, bro. This is not basketball or football <laughs> or anything like that. I think we all know that what we do is based on interacting with the people that are there. And if no one's there, it's just like doing a yeah. puppet show for no one. You're just a weirdo playing with socks on your hands. <laughs> I've heard similar analogies for comedians because I know there's yeah. like comics that have been doing like online stuff and online shows. I, I couldn't imagine shows. trying to do something like that. It's really you, hard. You have, well, they get instant feedback with all their shows. Yeah, it's like, like you know if you're doing good or not. Mm -hmm, you yeah. could be bombing for 10 minutes online and have no idea. No clue. Yeah. That'd be awkward. I uh, I thought it was cool when Kevin Hart did that thing from his basement because it was like the first person to like, you know what? We got to do something. Guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm out here. Stand up comedy is dry right now. So yeah. that's cool. Seems like Netflix is starting to get people out of their show to do some specials. I couldn't imagine trying to survive in climates like that. Where, right. I mean, like it's even more dependent on having a crowd there. I mean, you did a lot of live or a lot of recordings with nobody there yeah, for a minute. But I mean, we're still doing it and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing fun about it, bro. Not you bad. like when I look over, it'll be just like this. There'll be monitors, stage monitors, and then a bunch of like maybe 30 people on computers and stuff that don't care what you're doing at all. Yeah, but they're not even, all, but not even looking at up. it. Then we stop edit it yeah get back in position and they keep it going <laughs> the crowd will never or people at home will never know when we mess up yeah, unless it's two. that bad take two like oh <laughs> trey took a real spill let's get the medics like, his legs broke dude and then they end up on botchamania or i guess r.i.p botchamania but yeah is botchamania still a thing i think they shut it down did they i think they wound up shutting it down they probably had no content uh they had tons of content <laughs> <laughs> or just too much of they just go too they far too with it. They too many copyright hits. Uh, That's a problem. Are you guys familiar with Botchmania? No. It's just huge compilations of the most recent messed up moves and mishaps and old stuff too. It's wow. super random. That's cool. They do one of my favorite things is they do this thing called Everybody Talks, and it just like catches people talking because wrestlers have to communicate while they're out there. Yeah. And you hear so much stuff. My favorite one is like the Eddie Guerrero. Where the f is Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> Where's f***ing Vicky? His wife was supposed to like come out and tilt a ladder and she was late. And he ends up like falling off of this thing and just like starts cussing because he's so <laughs> upset that the thing got ruined. During the performance. Yep. Yeah. It's just, Have you wound up on it? Yeah, I've been on there. I don't remember for what though, but I've been on there before. I don't even think like what I did was that. I, no, actually, I think someone was doing something on me that got messed up, and that's oh, why I was in there. Like, hey, I made my debut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And this was under. Fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of wrestling, uh, some of the AEW's biggest stars made the news yeah. for Boy, wearing yeah. kicks. We want the. Good I didn't. Or do bro, we want the bad? First? I didn't. Man, you flip a coin. Someone got a quarter. <laughs> No, so, we talking about we'll those. do the bad first. Because I think we can get these bars off. Uh, Chris, that later. She just recently Man. came back from injury. I think she tore up her knee or yeah, something. Yeah, she's been. Uh, she was out for a me. long time, for like six months, maybe longer. Uh, she made her return recently and she came through with the. With Super the Wish. Com wish. Com Air Max. Oh, man, bro. And like. Them air drags, bro. I don't air know. Drags. <laughs> the air tragedies. Like, she. Uh. 
hyped him up, pointed at him like, and if you don't know, her gimmick is that she's an alien. She's so an alien. Think of like the mags, like the future. I mean, it looks shoe. it. It fits her her character her gimmick it, or whatever. Here's it, here's my thought process on it because I mean, I gotta, I have to give her the benefit of the doubt that I I can assume that Chris is not a sneakerhead, right? Even a little bit. She probably, for all I know, doesn't even know that like nike actually released these things for real like a lot of people don't know that i know that like and that might be hard for us to believe because we we wouldn't miss it we love sneakers but there are people out there that have no idea about this okay. and maybe she is one and maybe she was just on wish.com was like this looks perfect with my gimmick right it's 39.99 oh my god the oh my the god let's go now <laughs> my problem is with everyone that let her do it <laughs> <laughs> the that, enablers because yeah. you got you you're chilling with the bucks those are your bosses and those are their sneakers and they're sneaker heads they let you go out there and do that i would i wouldn't be mad at the internet i'd be mad at my peers my <laughs> colleagues like bro you let me go out there and do this no would you, you tell her no would you tell hell her yeah no? if i was there i'd be like dog this ain't it like let me be your friend this like, ain't i'm being it. a friend right I now I, I, saw the, I saw this thing the other day that said like uh no it was yesterday that like 2021 is the year of replicas, but this ain't it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, they don't even say Nike on the side. Like, come on, it's not the same color. It's, it's not even. It's all yellowed out, anything. pissed on. It's crazy. So yeah, the internet bullied her. Basically, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have bullied her, but I definitely would have had her back if I was in the same locker room with her, being in the you know in the game. In yeah. the game, I'd be like, yo, hey, yeah. for real, for real. And she wanted don't to, do that she wanted yeah. having to make a statement like guys i know these aren't the real thing like i would never pay that much money for a shoe so like clearly not in the sneaker game but i mean even if i had it i don't know if i'm paying 30 grand for i would she for might be the girl that wears fake louis and doesn't care you know and, and that might be it that's just bold as hell though if I saw someone with a fake as an adult, like I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to be like, yeah. damn, bro, you got. Oh, that's also someone I know. Then they gotta catch it. I got a question for you. Sure. So I've noticed we talked about this. I want to say last year we wanted to get you into sneakers, or early in the year, I mm -hmm. should say, we wanted to get you into sneakers, and your idea was, do I start wearing all these other cool sneakers and beat the shit out of them? And you kind of felt bad and whatnot. But I feel like with the with the big stars right now, they're all starting to wear. Sneakers, yeah, like, yeah man. Legit sneakers, not into boots like we talked yeah. about making them into boots and, and, and that sort of thing. I mean, what's your take on it? I wanted to be the only one, but I mean, I'm kind of late to it. Yeah. I was like, I was doing it outside of wrestling, yeah. and then when it finally became an idea for like where I was ready to go with it, it was like a lot of people are doing it, but not everyone is doing it right i don't care who does it first it's about who does it right who like so i showed up in the turbo greens ain't no one doing that no one yeah. that that was a power move bro that's a 600 dollars seller on stock x and it's a real shoot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like uh and i'm about to i won't say it on here but i'm wearing that at slam anniversary Yep. Spider. Well, you just said it. <laughs> you just said he wasn't going to say it. We'll edit it. But, but like, one of the things I, I, I assumed when I first heard the story, I hadn't seen the uh, the picture. I found out an hour ago when y'all <laughs> called me. Right. I had no idea I'm about like, this. Trey, you need to make it to the podcast right now. We're going to talk about but, this. But what I've seen is I've seen like boxers, wrestlers, all kinds of athletes, even, you know, like collegiate wrestlers, where shoes where they'll buy like they'll have a customizer buy a nike wrestling shoe or a nike boxing shoe or boot yeah and then make that shoe custom look like their favorite shoe mm -hmm. right and that's what i assumed this was when i had first heard it this is unacceptable this but this is just an actual is probably just so much cheaper than even doing that for sure i, I would guarantee you pull up a wish.com here yeah. you go. Back to the Future 2 light up shoe. $99, $99 on Amazon. 28, 28 23 on Wish. <clears throat> is it yeah. the same shape oh, as this, the one? This, this is it. That's, That's it. it. I said it. Do you guys not get paid? Bro, I spend my money in here. You're not, I, I don't have that big contract. I got spite. a contract, but yeah. it's, it's not that big. <laughs> So I spend, I think I spent a lot of money in here, bro. She can afford it. So yeah. I mean, I don't know if she could have won. Bro, I bet you. Grand. I, I, grand. Fam, she getting that Tony Khan money, fam. Dog. They, they own the Jaguars. Yeah. Really? They yeah. own TNT as a channel. Really? Yeah. Damn, they got money. Money, money. Like yeah. they run all these shows in Daly's place. Was this Palace. at the same time these guys wore? Yeah, this is all relevant were? right now. This so, was, this probably just happened if. So, this just I happened last it. week. 
this happened like a couple weeks, weeks. Yeah, so let's, for the viewers weeks. let's talk about this and what this is exactly so the young bucks uh some of the executive vice presidents of aew so they basically run the company uh they for a couple of weeks they were talking about buying dior's mm. but they were like ah 14k 12k it's a lot of money for a pair of shoes they wound up copping them and allegedly they copped the lows too <laughs> yep. but i mean they got it i guess so they went out and they did a match in dior's literally <clears throat> just to flex that's, i mean that that's, outfit's that, flexing right there that's a power move i said i was making a power move that's yeah. a power like move, they got bro. the ring gear made to match the yeah. dior's the whole thing and it's literally just to flex it's and like part of their belts, angle right bro. now they're wearing they're the tag team champs belts Ooh. Dude, look at the crease level. That's that. that's 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 my only thing. I'm like, dang, bro. My favorite picture on the internet is old dude uh, proposing. He's proposing. In those. <laughs> he takes off his concord. He's got the uh, concord not, yeah, 11s yeah. on. He's like, uh, not today. Or you He's see people sit. really putting their toe on, the, on yeah. the floor real hard. So my issue is these were these look. I mean, if you look at this one where he's got his foot in the air, that's a new shoe. Yeah, mm-hmm. they just got them, brand right? new. That's a brand new shoe right before this photo. That's a brand new oh, shoe. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they laced those up in, 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 like, in, in, in no, 10 like, feet it, to the stage. Probably like there was chairs off to the side <laughs> right. of this drape, and they laced them there. And now homeboy over here to the left who's doing the weird kick and the point, mm-hmm. he looks like, I mean, they're brand new. This guy down here on his knee. <laughs> he probably on was one knee. He was probably flexing them all day. Bro, look at that back shoe. I mean, uh, this bro. thing. And that's some thick leather. That's cr- that's a cringeworthy pick. My right boy. <clears throat> but I mean, I'm sure he's not trying to resell them. And even if he did, he's going to get five. But you would think preserve it like a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I would like go on my toe. Bro, look like correct. that. Like I wouldn't. I would that. I, I that, That's just bold. Do you know I, if these guys are I would do the double yeah, super kick. These guys are actually. Got, I'd be doing oh. the same thing as his brother, double super kick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That un- so, your educated opinion is that this is an authentic shoe mm-hmm. that they, in fact, purchased. One hundred percent, bro. They got the money. But you want to know what's crazy about that? They got all that money. I met these dudes, and they both had mids on. Mm. And I was, <laughs> I'm just not gonna let that shit fly. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think and it's they, funny just because they, they are sneakers. Bro, like- these damn mids kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. I can't do it. How do we feel about these outfits? Though? I'm with it. The Bucks killed it. The Bucks killed it here, bro. That's their swag. They, they dress like that all the time. Yeah. We'll go ahead and give these guys a pass and assume they're innocent until proven guilty. I'd like to have like a Yeezy Busta. <laughs> <laughs> a wrestling Second Yeezy opinion. Busta. Yeah. Oh, man. Because I mean, like, I'm looking at this shoe and I don't know. I mean, you can see right here he's been wearing it. Look at that little. Yeah, or, unless, he, or is that leather that thick that that's no no that's no crease. that's a crease. that looks like a crease yeah that's a crease he, he, he was chilling in them he let us know in, in the comments down below what do you guys think do you think these are real do you think they're fake you does think, it matter did they just lace them up or were they rocking them all day yeah that's a good question and what do and you even think if of- they were fake they look better than those mags <laughs> like this is a good representation of what that shoe is in the event that it's fake but i don't think they are because i know nah, that these dudes really fuck with sneakers i know some guys that got a lot of money that wear reps I don't know. Mm. I don't know. especially when they're considering possibly i'm just imagining this I'm gonna go to work in them. I'm gonna fuck them up. That's a tax write off for them because they wore it on TV. <clears throat> That's true. But would they risk it? Tell that to what's her face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she knows. Don't even bring that picture. <laughs> <laughs> they, the, the government, the IRS might tax her for them. <laughs> like, hey, hey, come on. Don't cut, you ever do that. Don't ever again. do some shit like that again. I don't think she will because she had to suffer the wrath of the internet because it's man, a mean bro. Whoever let her place. do that, man, shame on you, bro. Chris, I sympathize with you. I will, I will, <laughs> I'm your people. I wouldn't let you gone out like that. Right. And I'm not going to feed the hate on Twitter. All right. Uh, next comment. It's actually kind of another serious topic, too. Yeah. What do we got? So, Jordan, the king of sneakers, right? Yes. Um, why do you think it's been really hard for Jordan brand or Adidas mm. or Nike just in general to have like another star or another athlete kind of take that place up there with Jordan? Like LeBron's don't sell anywhere near oh, KD, no, no, Kyrie, no, no. Harden, Steph Curry. Like Steph Curry has ownership in Under Armour and they still can't get these things off the shelves. Let me give my take real quick. Yeah, fire off. Okay. You got to think about it like this. Back when Jordan was on top, when he was playing, 
he was like this hero. He was what you would maybe consider like an early influencer, mm -hmm. right? Where if he touched something, like I remember he did commercials for, I think it was Coca-Cola or something. Like he was doing commercials and endorsements for all kinds of things and they were blowing up, right? <laughs> now, back then, athletes were the influencers. Athletes were like the people who companies reached out to because they were on the TV all the time. They were controlling the attention. Nowadays, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm seeing like musicians and people who aren't even really talented, like that talented, but they're, you know, they have followings for whatever reason it is. Like a lot of these TikTokers just like dance around in like bikinis or something. And like they have like a, a bazillion followers mm -hmm. and talent doesn't really play into it. Even in the music industry, I'm seeing that there's a lot of really talented people in the music space that are not as successful as their less talented and more connected uh, counterpart, right? Where it's, it's like, for example, like Travis Scott, you're seeing Travis Scott get the same kind of deals that Michael Jordan used to get. Sure. Where he's got a McDonald's deal. He's, mm -hmm. he's on Fortnite video games. He's on, you know, he like he's making his clothes, pre-order clothes that, you know that resell but there's literally an unlimited supply of them when you can order them for retail so you're seeing this weird thing where these musicians and these influencers are taking the place of athletes where sure younger like let's say our age like we still maybe people in our generation still pay attention to sports and i'm sure that there are people who are young that pay attention to sports but it's like most of their time, let's say they watch like a game a week or a few games a week, they're still spending seven or eight hours a day on social media, consuming yeah. content, listening to music, um, following these TikTokers and these, these Instagram influencers and these types of people. So I feel like Kanye is really the first one that changed the game and showed like a musician could put his name on clothing and sneakers and really create hype around uh, some new models. Travis Scott kind of reinforced that. I mean, we even seen like Jay Balvin's yeah. coming out with sneakers and even like sneaker store owners like, uh, you know, Sean Witherspoon has has shoes that sell out still. And, and, and he has more hype with his shoes than a Kyrie or a LeBron. LeBron's will be sitting at the store forever and end up at the outlet discounted for basically what the store paid for them, you know, John half of retail. They're so ugly, LeBron. Yeah, I was I just going to say, John, can, John Elliott's our retail I think a lot bucks. of it has to do with the actual shoe itself, too. Like, the ath an ugly. athletic shoe is just unfashionable, if you ask me. There was something really cool about Jordans that can that yeah. make it fit with everything. I can wear it on the court, and I can wear it with the suit. I can wear it half casual, half dressed, down, like business casual, anything I really want. And I don't see that with a, and I'd hate to say it, I'm not going to do that with a Kobe. I disagree with you though, because it, look, Travis Scott put his name on a 270 React and it sold out and resold for $500. And that is the most garbage shoe. I mean, you go to fucking, you can go to the outlet right now and buy that shoe without Travis Scott's name on it for 40 bucks. Yeah, but who's actually buying the 270 React, Travis Scott? Not that many people. If it's reselling and it sold out, then it was yeah. enough people. It was more people yeah, than Yeah, I can agree with shoes. that because that's how I feel about a Yeezy. Let's talk about the off-white. How about those off-white track shoes with the little nibbles on the bottom? Oh, or those, those uh, those uh, or those, uh, what are those called? The orange ones and the black ones. The zooms. Uh, the zooms. zooms. Those are awful. Like, it, that's an athletic shoe. But if you put LeBron's name on it, it's not going to sell out or resell. There's going to be no hype behind the brand. But you put a designer name on it of off-white collab, and it, it sells out and resells for at least double retail. At least. It's the hype is real, man. Yeah. I think it's much harder with social media, like you said, like mm -hmm. really hard because when we would watch TV, I remember back in the 80s and 90s, like it was Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson. So yeah. my parents named me Mike, for Christ's sake, because of those people. You oh, know, Mike's. like it was Tyson, so Jordan, popular Jackson. for foreigners, yeah. like, man, Pepsi would deal with uh, Michael Jackson, McDonald's deals, Coke deals with uh, and Gatorade with uh, Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan back then was a hero yeah. and respected. He was, he was pop culture. LeBron's not respected. Cool as a great even though he should be with all his stats sorry I, I like lebron but i would always pick michael jordan over lebron like it's just but the kids don't i think it's too hard to they make don't heroes know anymore. any better until they until some of them watch that documentary they kind of respected michael jordan a little bit more but still they don't know like you didn't see it you weren't living in it they don't 
Something about Michael Jordan, just you can't. He was the coolest dude on the planet. He and just was. Everybody. Like the whole I want to be like Mike that Gatorade yeah. campaign. Yeah. Nobody want to be like that, LeBron. Like, if we had another one, he'd get canceled. Because that's the generation we live in right now. But you know, I, Mike wasn't in the public eye like that. Like no. pub, like his his private life, he was a mysterious character back then. That's what made him so hero like to Kids. You couldn't do that now. No. And that's why that's what I'm saying. I don't in today's climate, I don't think that I think that's why it's too hard to have a hero. You'd get canceled. You can't live in the shade. You gamble too much. You're not <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, seriously. Like Travis Scott's music. Let's be honest. Like it's high. It's, it's not cool. it's not the best that's ever been out. It's there. cool. I don't like, turn it off when it comes on. Sure. That's how I feel about it. That's the most I say about it. Yeah. I don't turn it off when it comes on. Oh, and if I know the words, I'll rap it. Yeah. <laughs> Half time, I don't know the words. I heard the song a million times, but. Yeah, because it's all over the radio. <laughs> These kids love it, though. Like, I went to the Travis concert where he was last time he was up in Detroit. He's a great entertainer. Insane. Okay, like, one of the best concerts I've ever been to. But those kids, they're like crying out in the stands. They're just vibing the whole time. It's insane. I don't understand what the fuck he's saying. Half I mean, that's okay. Like, I get it. I understand where you are. Like, I'm older than you. So. Yeah. <laughs> what about the Lil Nas X shoe? Uh, the blood uh, shoe? Yeah. I wish. I actually wish I could have copped yeah. a pair. I thought they were fire. Shame on you, Chris. I wish I could have copped a pair. Shame I don't, on you. I wish I copped the holy water shoe yeah, last you year. You need to go to church after this. <laughs> So I thought the Lil Nas X shoe was fire. It was really good. Yeah, it was fire. Except for the blood part and the care whole about it. Satanism and shit. It's a shoe. It's a Man, shoe. Man, it was just a Isn't drum Nike up suing hype. him now? Yeah, dude. Uh, well, the, that... the funny thing is, he sent them all out before the cease and desist came out. Yeah. So people who got them, they, they got, got the them. bears. Yeah. But most dumb, it's, it comes back to like what you were saying about people not being sneakerheads. Most people out there who saw the shoe think Nike had something to do with it. Right, it so had nothing to do with it. It's just a custom, but it still damages Nike's reputation yeah. to the, like the. the I'm sure, people like, in the yeah, to someone that to someone that doesn't know <laughs> what's going on, yeah, yeah, which is most people. I'm not buying you Nikes anymore. Yeah, Nikes are sh- Satan worshiper shoes. <laughs> I got that all the time about Nike. They don't want to buy Nikes because of Colin Kaepernick. I'm yeah, because like, they backed him during okay. the whole kneeling thing. I'll, I'll never buy week. Nikes again. Is it okay? I'll see you in a week. You ain't buying Adidas. Trust me, it's not that much better. Like, like, I'm gonna cut mine up and set them on fire. <laughs> like, dude, you already paid for these. Like, they already have. Your and they money got your fan. money already. They don't care if you do that. Right. Once you buy it, after, like, what you do after this, we don't care. I don't know. That's a tough question. What you asked, though. I mean, it's. It's really hard. It, it's changed so many different dynamics, but really Moose hit it on the dot. I mean, like, yeah. they gave Odell Beckham Jr. like the highest contract they've ever given a football player. Oh, shoot, sit. Like, the first pair, I think they ran out, but the second ones, the tan ones, you got a pair back there that you're cleaning. Sat. Yeah. The black ones, sat. I think you can still walk in the finish line and get them. Isn't Steph Curry with Under Armour? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awful brand. When's the last time you bought an Under Armour shoe? Uh, never, never. Never in my life. Okay. But we could all agree that Steph Curry is. One of the best guys to ever play the game. Yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. But it's not enough to make you go to that brand and buy a shoe. No. no. I put a thousand dollars on it. If Travis Scott went to Under Armour, every one of us would be trying to buy that <laughs> shoe. <laughs> but that's because we know what it's going to do in the in the secondary yeah, market. But that's yeah. that's from a selling standpoint. What about a consumer standpoint? Like, I'm like, like I, are, do wear. you think you're going to want a pair to have and own? I don't think I would. Nah, I, 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 you know, just because God. he touched, it, I, I, I pretty much know what I'm getting when I when I hear Under Armour. Well, let me well let me tell you one thing. I will buy an Under Armour shoe if The Rock is on it. Like with, like. There are certain the things. Rock is on. No, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Oh. But I'm saying like there are certain <laughs> shoes that, that he's put his name on that I'm like I would wear that just because I fuck with The Rock. I think mm. he's like the man. Yeah. You know. So would more you, people would you, fuck with. If I, if I wanted to do it, it would exclusively be a gym shoe. Right. Yeah. I mean, but I would also buy their backpacks. I'd also buy a T-shirt with the with the bull on it. Like I think that there are certain people that'll bring and he's. He's not even an active athlete anymore. He's like a he's a commentator and an actor. Yeah. The you highest I mean? paid actor in Hollywood. Yeah, he's killing it. The Rock? Yes, yeah, he's the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Jesus. Why and we're talking that's, about that, that's why that's why WWE will never make another rock. They'll never have another John Cena. There will never be another the guy because Vince doesn't want anyone to become bigger than the company like that. Hmm. He was once his golden boy and now he's the highest paid everything else but a wrestler and he's like i can't offer him enough money to get him back this fucking sucks but we're talking about a guy that could have done anything 
Yeah. I mean, he could have been a pro football player. He could have yeah. been. Well, he, he tried, tried hard. He tried hard he tried hell, and it didn't work. He That's why he it. became a wrestler. Yeah, sure. It didn't sure. work out. He was in there with Warren Sapp, uh, Ray, Lu- yeah. Ray Lewis. Like he was he good. Worked, he got to Miami. He still could have been a professional football player. Maybe not in the league, but he still could have been a professional football player. Yeah. No, but I get what you're saying good. though, because sure, I I I followed The Rock was my hero when I was a kid, and yeah, I followed same. his career and support everything he does. I've always thought he was a great actor. First movie he was in was The Mummy Returns. I went to see that in theater. He had like a single cameo in there. He was in the CGI. Haku, Mashiach there, whatever he said. And then, yeah, he was CGI. He for was the re- CGI. He was an actual like human <laughs> scorpion, scorpion dude. <laughs> And then, right. and then they made a sequel to that where he's just a man. Yeah, <laughs> he's no longer this. But now this we're Mortal Kombat character. We're talking about influence. <laughs> but right? no, no, yeah. So with that being said, like I, I agree with, with what you say. Like I would go out of my way because well, I'm heavy into the gym, so like that would apply to me, sure. But would you vote get, for him for president? Yep. Okay. But I also agree Kanye, with a lot of I agree with a lot of his politics too. Kind of okay, like but it wouldn't just, it wouldn't just be because so and because that's what I, that's where I was going with this. So sure, and maybe that's why I had the perspective that I did because I don't uh, identify with Travis Scott the way that I do the Rock. Yeah. But I guess for someone that does identify with Travis Scott the way that I do the Rock, I can see it. Yeah, Could I just see? needed it in that perspective to to under to not understand but to relate. agree. Yeah. yeah, relate. Yeah. So I'm saying like Kanye. First guy to do it with the clothing and the shoes. Mm-hmm. Also ran for president, kind of. Shout out to right? me. I think he's an anomaly. He is an anomaly. He but is. I really do. They're talking about The Rock running for president. Mm-hmm. And I think if he did, he probably might have I a think shot. He, yeah, I really think oh, he yeah. would. Yeah. After really Donald would. Trump, anybody can be president. Not That's anybody, though. It has to be someone who's like a cultural icon. Yeah. yeah that has that yeah. pull. Right? And I think that that's what we're, that's what we're coming up. Uh, th- I think that, that that that's what applies to shoes. Like if people, if Nike, the people at Nike or the people at Adidas or New Balance or whatever, name, you name it, if they want to sell products, they have to find these cultural icons. Look, if they give Kylie a shoe. I'm not copying no Kylie. No, but it's going to sell out. Yeah, I mean, those little kids sell out. <laughs> she had some Adidas Falcons back in the day, and when she would wear it, she would actually sell. Girls would ask me, like, do you have that shoe that Kylie has? It didn't resell. But they were selling, even yeah, on stock I'm not confident with Kim K's. You weren't. Yeah, I know. I'm a sane human But there's being. enough people I'm out there. Human. But at the same time, I run out here and cop Kanye's left and right. We'll see who the next influential person is going to be uh, run for president and become president. So the Rock. That's exciting. Yeah, we'll see. It'll probably be The Rock. We'll see about that. See After that, I don't know. Like, who who captures the mind of did anybody, that many people? Did anybody Oprah. watch uh, SNL? No, I didn't watch SNL, but I do want to talk about the Doge Ooh, but bit. hold on. Before you say that, oh. what do you think if Elon Musk ran for president? He can. He's from I South know. Africa. I know, but I'm saying like, <laughs> that type of person. I would vote. I mean, that type of person is basically Kanye West. They're both nuts. Mm, yeah, but in a different kind of way. One's like kind of like a could burden everything down to the ground kind of way. One's genius. going to make the world better. <laughs> Yeah, Kanye, so. duh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to live in one of those bubbles he made? No. Man. Oh, my God. So I went to Sunday service two years ago. Mm. And he, like, and the album release party when that Jesus King album came out, he showed some documentary about, like, this fucking cult that he was making, basically. He was building these, like, geometric homes geodomed homes oh my god they're all supposed to like go through tunnels it's like to the opposite other of places. get out where he captures white people yeah <laughs> and they all like and they were just like wearing the robes oh my god like, yay i love you like i've been here since day one this is when i get off like this yeah. is when i get off. I got i'm not off going felt a little too culty yeah oh my god. and i was like i'm down for a whole lot of things I couldn't live in nothing Just like this. Just a little shade of Charles yeah. Manson in there. Mm-hmm. All right, what else we got going on here? Uh, do we want to poke the Dogecoin bear? Do we want to have Moose go off on another tangent? Uh, I hope he doesn't go. I think off. I've already done enough tangents. Let's, All right, <laughs> well, you let's know wrap let's, it up. We'll no, you know what? We'll talk about it. Let's touch on it, but just. I won't get carried away. Okay, All right, okay, so okay, SNL happened over the week, and uh, Elon Musk had his Dogecoin sketch. I don't want to call it a sketch. His sketch. And Dogecoin dropped. <laughs> it was up around 70 something cents. It was up like 65, 68. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Something cents. 
it is back down in what? 43 to 45 mm -hmm. range. As of this morning. Yeah. How you feel about that, Moose? Uh, I think it's still got a lot of room to fall. Yeah. <laughs> You're not buying the dips? I've never bought Dogecoin, and you'll never find me buying Dogecoin. Yeah, let's just be real with each other. It's a, it's a meme. It didn't, doesn't mean anything. It has no value. It's a joke. Kind of like when they're all pushing GameStop to God knows how much. It's the you same I mean? argument that I had when GameStop was being pumped. Is that like GameStop isn't doing anything innovative or new in the marketplace yeah. to justify this high valuation? <clears throat> it's just a bunch of people trying to fuck hedge funds. Uh, yeah, but they ended up getting fucked. By hedge funds. Unless you... <laughs> Whoever Correct. was holding the bag, as well, you said. Well, yeah, unless you got out early enough. So when that thing got up to around 20 bucks, if you got in super early when it was like six or seven, you made some money. But we're talking about super smart people. Didn't Elon say he's going to accept Dogecoin? Uh, no, Bitcoin. No. I heard something about Dogecoin. No, no, you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. You cannot yeah, buy a Tesla You can't buy Dogecoin. one with Dogecoin. <laughs> Somebody said they were going to accept Dogecoin or gave it some credit. I forgot who it was. Well, some, to do some, some hedge fund this weekend also came out this week and said, hey, we're about to short this. And the government can't even come. They can't touch it. They can't do anything about it because they're manipulating nothing. Yeah. Like normally if you say that, you're going to go to jail. The SEC is going to come find you because you, you're manip manipulating stocks. In this particular case... Nah, they're not. Not a Look, peep. Not, not a peep. some some kid who came in here, not too bright, was basically saying that he believed when when when, when I was trying to make the argument against Dogecoin, he's saying like there's no there's no reason why it should have any value. There's no use case for this. Nobody's going to be using it to trade, you know, goods and services. They can literally, it's an unlimited coin. Like they can decide to make as many as they want of them. There's no scarcity for it to hold like a solid yeah. value. He's like, well, you never know. You might be able to buy something on Amazon with it. And I'm like, Bro. that's a that's a maybe. That's a, like, huge, that's maybe. a huge maybe that's for you to dump all that to money Bezos. into. It. Yeah, okay, Bezos never... will be accepting Bitcoin and maybe Litecoin or Ethereum or something else before. Yeah, or just have Amazon coin. Why would he? Why would he endorse a coin that somebody else can manipulate when he could just make Amazon coin? And do the same exact thing. Yeah, fuck dude. Just doesn't make any sense. To me. Cash out, y'all. Cash out I mean, soon. Yeah, I, I I can't do that. I know I'm, that there's I people out do. there who are like. I'm not into the cryptocurrency. My brother does it, and I I well, won't take that risk. It's a bubbling. It's a bubbling it. right now. There'll be something in two weeks. There'll be something else that they'll be pumping artificially. Yeah. Well, here's an getting art early on. Like, that. what standard does it abide by? That's what I mean. Like, there's, no, so like, there's, there's nothing to back it, really. Ninety nine point nine percent of them. So there are they are coming out with coin that will be backed by gold, for example, right? Sure. So it'll be like it'll be like the gold standard when when the That's, dollar was on the gold standard. Yeah. Where there'll be gold sitting in a vault somewhere in Sweden or some Cayman Island mm -hmm. that each coin will have well, a, a, a a weight like a weighted amount of gold yeah. attached to it, and then uh, that, that way gold, it has value. It has right. value. It's just, it's basically a digital representation of a physical. But this does. But what, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, what is what is that right now for Dogecoin? Or no, Dogecoin. Nothing. nothing. So it's, yeah, it's not back on. How the how did anyone ever <laughs> even think about? Yeah. So here's another thing. That that's happened. what I don't get. Same Money people. is being pumped into crypto right now because mm -hmm. some people think that it's a way for them to have like let's say wealth anonymously yeah, right because it's untraceable okay. so there's people dumping and you know there's all these ppp loan scans that are going on there's all this free money that's being printed and people are dumping that scam money into crypto because they believe that they could store this value in crypto and then even if they do get caught and they go sit down six months or a year for some white collar crime they'll come out and they'll be able to access these funds but what people don't realize is that when you buy it on coinbase or or Robin Hood, Robin rather, Hood. you That's don't triste. actually own anything. anything. You can't pull your yeah. keys off. Uh, 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 you can't put it on a ledger. You can, you don't actually own the coin. And everything is reported to the IRS. They know exactly what you've bought and yeah. what you've sold and how much you've made. And even if you do make money, let's say you do make money you with legitimate money. That, right? Yeah, you're yeah, going to 1099. Yeah, 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 you're right. Ah. And that, thanks to, uh, you know, the new laws that are being put in place. Anything over six hundred dollars profit in a year, you're getting ten ninety nine. Is getting ten ninety nine. So For real, good yeah. luck trying to avoid. 
you know, I'm a 1099 already. For resellers, <laughs> it's bad for everybody. Whatever. But besides the fact, we can go on to the next subject. Don't buy Dogecoin. That's Don't the last subject. Unless we talk, what's coming out this oh, week? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I didn't know we're going out backwards. Anyone hit on that royal at finish line nope, today? Not me. Nope. All L's. I L'd as well. Sneaker yeah. stores hate. I couldn't me. even get on the app for a solid two hours. It, uh, me it loads. Just yeah, uh, finish line. I think loads for me. Yeah, finish line. It won't let me get in. It won't let what me get in. For, there was a another release for a uh, uh, raffle uh, hyper royal this morning. Yeah, I took it now. Big L's. Big L's. Uh, Shadows 2.0 is getting ready to come out in a couple of weeks. I'm ready for those. I, or I guess the them. 15th. So next week. Hmm. That's a dope shoe. Um, it's oh still not God. better than the original. It's time. The original's way better. Is there a You don't have any reservation. Right? My shit was a no. Yeah, big L's. Let's wrap this up. Wrap it up? Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. It is about that time. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us, spending some time with yeah, us. we missed you guys. Uh, we definitely miss you guys. Keep... keep Commenting, uh, like, share, subscribe. Shout out to Trey. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Kicking thank it with you. Us. The man, Trey. Uh, hey, hey. Come by anytime, friend of the show. Uh, and we will catch you next week with the next one. And See more guys. quick hitters on the way, more videos coming back up. We'll get the schedule back and rolling. So we'll catch you then. Later, guys. Peace. Peace.